Hey, how's it going? I'm False Proof. Welcome to Dave Mira BMX2. This is a Viking game. Yeah, no, I played this a lot as a kid. It's really, really fun. And you know what? I decided that I should experience it with you. So the story mode in this game is known as ProQuest. And of course, you can play as all the wonderful bikers in Dave Mira BMX2, including Dave Mira, Ryan Nyquist, Harry McMurray, Mike Lair, Tim Mira. Oh, Tim Mira is his little brother. You know, Keenan Harkin, Lion Renzel, Gory Sarcia, Lick Moliterno, Todd Lyons, Lucy, um, is that, it kind of looks like Easy e Scott Warch, Colin McKay, Zach Shaw, Slim, Jim Guy. Okay. I kind of want to play a Slim Jim Guy. Um, I'm, I think we could go with Slim Jim Guy, you know? I, I'm feeling Slim Jim Guy, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with Slim Jim Guy. All right, so obviously this is the beginning of ProQuest. We can only start it with one bike, so we're gonna go with the Slim Jim One. Uh, we're just, we just, I usually just leave the tricks alone. Woodward Camp, first level. Let's jump into it. So Woodward Camp, this is a real biking BMX camp in the United States. Um, so first challenge, we gotta clear ten thousand points in a single run. Now, some of you who are pretty long-time viewers will know that I'm not great at BMX games, but you'll also know. That we played this and you'll be questioning everything I'm doing right now. The reason why I'm decided to do this again is because I actually wound up buying a component cable for my Wii. So that means I can record Wii games and uh, GameCube games in 480p. Uh, I think some games are a little bit weird and they still get interlaced. So you gotta be you gotta be careful with it. Um, that being said, I figured it could look a bit nicer. I wasn't too sold on the footage when I first captured it. Uh, on the first run I did of Dave Mirror BMX 2. So we're just going to, uh, you know, bail. It's perfect. And we're just going to do this. And there we go. There's our first run. Let's end the run right there. Okay, so we're going to snap into the Slim Jim like crazy. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be wonderful. So you know what? We're going to go and we're going to name ourselves. Our player name has to be the best sponsor of Slim Jims in the entire world. The old macho man, Randy Savage, rest in peace. Um, you have to listen to his rap album. It's pretty much basic fire. It's amazing. You know what? There's there's nothing better than the Randy Savage rap album. Uh, we're going to move on to the next run. We got to knock over four ladders, get over 25 feet on a ramp, and trans over, transfer over the Titanic vert ramp channel. So I know for a fact, and the game shows me, they're like, hey, this is the Titanic vert ramp. Perfect. And that was my longest jump. Oh, was that was that what I needed? No, I need to actually get, I have to do it like this way. Yep, and not die. That's a good idea. See, in, see, in sports games, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm just gonna try to explain this as best I can to those who've never played a sports game. Basically, in any sports game, you're going to have what is known as a, um, as a bail. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna bail pretty hard, you know, while you're trying to get all these super duper awesome tricks going and it's hard. It's hard to not bail, guys. It's it's pretty 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 big thing, you know. Uh, either that, or I'm just terrible at BMX games. We'll kind of get into how I first got this game or first started playing this game. Uh, when I was younger, my brother and I had to go to daycare because our parents worked, and at that daycare they had a GameCube with like a bunch of different games. There was like Smash Brothers, you know, uh, the pretty pretty horrid looking uh, WrestleMania X8. If you guys actually want to see me play that, I'll try to get a copy. Because uh, it looks pretty bad. It's really fun, but it looks it looks like terrible. Like it's probably one of the worst age games ever. But uh, that being said, this game was also there, and it was lots of fun. Basically, just wrapping around, just doing all these super awesome tricks. So we're gonna finish that with two more tricks. We're gonna enter our name into the Hall of Fame with the old Macho Man Randy Savage. Get the snap into a Slim Jim. Oh boy, that's one thing I don't I don't miss from the last play from the last playthrough. Oh boy, that was the worst. Um, yeah. So for those of you who are curious, I'll make sure to you know keep the old episodes and then I'll just replace them as need be. So whenever I'm done filming these ones, they will go into the series playlist for Dave Mira, and then you'll still have the old episodes and you can watch cringy old me until you know I'm good enough to actually get to where I was before. Perfect. So three more ladders to go. Uh, we're gonna grab onto this vert ramp. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wild ride. Yeah. See, this is one thing you're gonna be watching out for. There are lots of glitches in this game. It's awesome. It's just great. Um, so there's another ladder. Um, is it bad if I forget out where all the ladders are? I think that may or may not. That will probably hinder me for sure. And one thing I'm not too fond of is the fact that, you know, we have a time limit. It kind of sucks, really. Um, yeah. Let me know. How do you feel about, uh, 
you know, time limits. Obviously, you probably play extreme sports games if you're watching this. If you don't, then I'm very confused. And I mean, maybe you're just expanding your horizons. That's nice for you. I'm glad that you're doing that. Um, but yeah, no, just let me know. Let me know what you're doing. Okay. So I'm blind as heck, and I never realized this until now. But they actually tell you the objectives when you're near something that could help you complete the objective. Like when you knock over those four ladders. It's great. Oh, well, there's a gap. Uh, perfect. Great work. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. No, no. I know where the last ladder is. I just realized where the last ladder is. Come on. We got 45 seconds. We gotta get this. Gotta get this. Gotta get this. Gotta get this and go. Come on. Come on, Slimmy. Slim. 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 Can I call you Slim? I don't... I, no, I can't call you Slim. Fine, you freaking diva. God. The last ladder is over at this weird old place, I think. Yes, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yes, 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 yes. There it is, there it is. Okay, awesome. Get that. Boom. Sweet. And that is the ladder challenge. We finished the ladder challenge. Yeah. You know what? I feel like there's probably a video on YouTube called the ladder challenge. Is it like... The question is... Do you think that it's like the challenge where you bedazzle a ladder or is it just a challenge where like you climb a ladder so you can climb a ladder the fastest? But we're going to get this new uh, objective from Keenan Harkin. One thing you're going to want to have to look out for in this game is those green icons over their head. They kind of look like bike spokes. Uh, hey kid, how's it going? Try this. Clear the glowing jumps at the Woodward Trails Apex. So whenever you see that little logo over Mr. Harkin's head, you'll want to make sure to get those because that's the way you'll be able to 100% complete any level. It's perfect. I love it. It makes me feel all sorts of happy. And basically all you have to do for this one is just hit the first glowing green part and then, you know, land on the second glowing green part. Perfect. Ooh, yeah, macho man. We finished the amateur challenges and we got a bike sponsorship, which basically boils down to I did some stuff. Okay, so... I'll explain this really quick. Basically, there are amateur challenges, pro challenges, and then there's like hard, hard challenges, like a secret challenge, basically. So whenever you clear the amateur challenges, um, you can then get to go to pro challenges. The only way to clear uh, any set of challenges, you got to find that biker and accept his challenge. It's a little weird. I know. It's okay. But that being said, uh, you know, there's all these doors and I'm just, I'm feeling it. I like doors, you know, straight. Not, not, not three doors down. Just kidding. I mean, they're all right, I guess. Um, we gotta do a 360 spin. No, there's no door over here. I am, I am looking for that last door. I need that last door. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful. So, one, one thing I used to have issues with is doing spins. I'm not a great spinner. Uh, spins are not really my thing. There. But if you hit the R button on GameCube, R2 on Xbox. Uh, R2 on PS2 and then R on Xbox what you will wind up doing is a nice old looking super duper dope spin. okay so there's two challenges right there we're gonna end that run perfect dope sweet all right so what else do we have to do we, okay so we did finish the first three pro challenges we got to find that fourth one we're gonna check over by that weird old building um there's a guy over there I don't know if he is the secret challenge no you are the pro challenge thanks sir thanks for being cool Manual the picnic bench in the outdoor street. Okay, here's how you manual. You go up a ramp and then you hit, uh, you hold down the down stick or the control. You have to, you have to tap and then hold. So it's like a tap there. There we go. Sweet, done. Ooh yeah, macho man, watch out. Okay, we got a new level. That's dope. Okay, wall ride the four cloud door nine open. Four cloud nine doors open. Grind. Oh. All right, we're gonna try. I know, I know one that I absolutely am never gonna do is that 525 foot grind. That is the worst. Um, what was the challenge for? Oh, pull backflips. Okay, okay, okay. So it, uh, so it's like that. It's like the last challenge we did on these slopes. Except we have to just do backflips, I guess. Yeah. So it's like it's like that last challenge we did, but just with backflips. Um, let's. Okay, so we gotta do wall ride. But Four cloud nine doors open. Uh, yeah, I know what those are. Okay, so it's like similar to the grind one, but we actually have to wall ride. Wall riding's a bit trickier. Um, I think we just, we just hold down Y on GameCube. I'm. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've tried this. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's two right there. Dope. So I just kind of jump and then hold the 
Yeah, I was right. It's a Y button. I was trying to. I was trying to remember what it was. Oh God. Okay. Uh. It gets a little awkward, but. There we go. I guess that worked for now. Um, we'll try to get that. We'll get a secret challenge. Just one sec. I know I'm not gonna be able to do that. Uh, that 525 foot grind just yet. That's gonna take me a bit longer. <laughs> It's a bit ridiculous, honestly. Um, basically, all it is is chaining manuals, and it's just, it's garbage. I hate it. Hey, sir. Colin McKay. Definitely got skills. Try this one. Transfer from one cabin roof to another. Oh, well, thanks for chilling, Keenan Harkin. I'm sorry to say, but you've been eliminated from the Dave Mira BMX2 competition. Slim Jim hasn't, because Slim Jim is just cool. He didn't bail. It's great. So we're gonna jump there, jump there, jump there. Ooh, oh, okay. And there's the transfer, perfect. And there's that nice flare. And then, you know, half frame Superman right into the ground. Perfect. So a lot of you are gonna say, oh my goodness, false proof, you're a, you're a sucker, but you know what? I'm not gonna try to grind down the rails. I'm not that crazy. So that's going to be it for this time for Dave Mira BMX2. Thank you all so much for watching. So if you want to see some more GameCube stuff, I've got a Pokemon Coliseum review uh, that I'll leave in the description for you. If you want to see what the old Dave Mira BMX2 episodes look like, they're pretty, they're pretty old. I'll leave those in the description as well so that you can see just how crazy this game can become. As always, set that ID value to false and I'll see you next time.